Hello and welcome to MT2. I'm Professor Watts and I'm going to give you a little video tour of MT2. When you first come in, this is what you should see. We have an announcement. with It's a welcome announcement. Now make sure to ignore any due dates that you're seeing here because I use this video in all my MT2 online classes so the date might not necessarily correspond to your particular class. All right, so we see along the top, we have a menu of course, messages, forums, calendar, gradebook. And along the side, we see almost the same uh, options, except we also have log out and help using my open math. Those should be pretty self-explanatory. I can't go into the grade book because I'm not a student, so it's just going to tell me that I don't have authority to be there. The calendar is a great way to check to see when assignments are due. So if you scroll through, all right, now we're on the more current month, and you can see that assignments are due on particular days. You can click on them, and it'll give you a link to go do that assignment as well. That's a good way to make sure that you're getting your assignments done on time. If I want to get back out of this and where I was, I'm going to follow the breadcrumbs along this blue bar. So I'm going to click back on MT2 and I'm back sort of to my home page. The forums um, is a quick way to get to all of the forums in the class. All right, to go back or click on MT2 again. And messages is a place to, it's sort of like email. You can uh, send a new message to either the instructor or to one of your classmates, and they'll get that message when they log into mom. Okay, so once we scroll, now that we've looked at those menu items, we scroll down and you must have found the Start Here folder because that's where you see this video. And then you have the syllabus, which is really important to read carefully, and you'll take the syllabus quiz. You should post your autobiography, tell the class a little bit about yourself. Entering Answers in Mom is going to give you a, a lot of help with the different ways that you put things in My Open Math. And um, it's required, and I highly recommend that you do it because one thing that students complain about is that they had the right answer, but they didn't know how to put it in Mom. Well, this assignment teaches you how to put it in Mom, and you can always go back to it if you need to. And then a big thing in this course so that we can all communicate and ask questions is using the forum um, and mom. So this is an assignment that gives you some practice using the equation editor. So that way if you uh, answer somebody else's question or if you have your own question, you know how to type it in uh, with the equation editor, which makes it much easier to view. And then it tells you that you, once you've gone through all of these assignments, to continue onto the course information folder. So how do we get back? We click back on the MT2. And I'm going to minimize the announcements and then go to course information. Course information has a lot of information. I've posted the syllabus there again. This is a forum that you can ask uh, any non-homework related question. Uh, called Ask Professor Watts. The textbook you can download um, and either print it out or just read it online. Um, you don't need to do either because I've got the textbook embedded in the course. My information with office hours, my phone, my email, and if you click on it you get my bio. There's a link or a link to Sunday office hours so that if you want to join me virtually on Sunday nights you can and it's basically the same as coming to see me in my office you can ask questions we can work them out 
I have a webcam and, and a microphone so I can talk to you. Course navigation is going to give you the written version of this video. Testing information is very important. I'm going to click on that. And we have the TCC Testing Centers link. You can click on that to get all of the... Um, I'll have this fixed for you, but here's the link. Click on that and you'll get to the TCC Testing Center uh, information. And if you can't take it at a testing center, then another option is to have an outside proctor that you have to find, um, like your supervisor, and you have to fill out the proctor request form and get it to me at least a week before the final is due. If you can't come to campus because you're out of town, out of the country, then another option is to take it with the remote proctor. That costs $15 and you just need to give me a two day head up, heads up on that one. Okay, so that's it for that one. Technical help, if you have any technical issues, um, click this link to get technical help. Uh, Netiquette is, I'll let you read through this basically just because it's an online class doesn't mean you can say whatever you want. There are some netiquette guidelines to follow. Gradebook is a, um, a link to all the gradebook information and how to understand the gradebook better. Accessibility, if you have um, a disability and you register with the disability office, or if you just have some accessibility needs, um, the, the link here will help you with those. And as much as I try, I still make mistakes. So if you find one, like something, like a date not matching up with the syllabus, um, then click on, I think I found a mistake, tell me what it is. If you're the first one to point out the mistake, then you get extra credit. All right, inside each week is, uh, well, it's a folder and it's going to give your objectives, you know, what you're trying to learn, your reading assignment. So that's a link to the textbook. That's why you don't need to print or have the whole textbook because you can just click on it and read through, take notes. And then not everybody learns from reading. So I've got some videos here that you can watch. I've given you a place to practice that's not graded, it's just for your own practice. And then a week one homework that is graded. And this is a forum about questions for week one. So I'm going to click on the week one homework and say I'm doing problem number six. And I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to click on post this question to the forum. And you'll see that it automatically puts the question there. You just need to say, you know, I need help with this and click on post thread. If you want, you can check the box to post anonymously. So each week is set up the same way. The only exception is in week two, you have a midterm quiz to do. And then the final week is review in the final. So there's no new material to learn there. Um, just information about the final, the link to get to the remote proctor, a form to ask questions about the final, some place, uh, an MT2 review practice so that you can practice all the problems again for studying purposes. The practice final quiz is required and then the final exam. Towards the end of the class, you'll get a student evaluation. And if you can take a picture of that evaluation and, and post it under show proof of evaluation here, you get extra credit. And the course survey is also extra credit. And that's my own survey about the class.
that should cover everything. But if I'm left out anything, just uh, let me know. You can post to the Ask Professor Watts forum and I will get back to you as soon as I can.